What's up guys, it's Mike Sherrod and today I'm going to break down exactly every single way that you can get listings and clients if you've got no business. Whether you're a new real estate agent or you're an agent that just simply is struggling to get your next deal, this video is gonna break it down for you. Now, I've got a ton of information behind me, so make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna break each one down in detail and there's a couple nuances and different secrets that I wanna share with you along the way. So please make sure you don't skip and stay tuned because this is gonna be a massive value add for your business. Now, if you do get any value from this, all that I ask in return is for you to smash that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm and it really inspires me to keep putting out content every single week for you so let's get straight into it so any new agent or agent that's looking to get business I've broken down everything for you that we're gonna get into so the first thing that you want to do I'm gonna start with new agent then I'm gonna go into social media talk about some prospecting and then talk about what's most important and the biggest thing is every single one of these strategies is for free they cost zero dollars anybody can do it and I know that's something that a lot of people are being mindful of during this time where money is tight so all of these are free and hopefully this really helps your business now as a new agent you obviously want to make sure that you're doing announcements on every single platform I meet a ton of new agents that say well Mike I don't know if I want to push it to everybody I don't want to share it with everybody and seem like that traditional agent here's the thing you have to so make sure that you make an initial announcement every single new agent should be posting this on every social media platform letting people know that you are in the business even if you feel like you don't have the confidence of your own self that you're a new agent you want to make sure people know that they can go to you even if they want to and to support you now new agents some of the best things that you can be doing are open houses for other agents whether that be from your brokerage or whether that be other people that you know in the industry as well as sharing your brokerage listing. So whether that be on Facebook, Instagram, or on any other social media platform, make sure that you're sharing listings from your brokerage because what you may or may not know is that listings aren't actually owned by an agent, they're owned by a brokerage. Now, as a disclaimer, I do recommend you asking permission from the listing agent, but you do have the ability to share the listings from your brokerage even if you don't have any business yourself. Now, the last two things here are obviously property tours and featured listings. So one of the best things you can do as a new agent is to just take featured listings every single week and post it. What you don't understand is that the majority of the public doesn't actually know who the listing agent is. So what happens as a new agent is that as you start to share listings over and over and over, whether that be on Facebook page, LinkedIn, Instagram, as a featured listing, listing of the week, whatever you wanna call it, people actually genuinely start to believe that those are your listings because you're not necessarily necessarily saying in the first line that hey this is listed by XYZ person you can say it at the bottom but again make sure to have some sort of active presence and you can do that simply by sharing other people's listings now this one right here investors this was one of the biggest return on investment for my life when I got started as a new real estate agent listen on average 30% of real estate agents want to invest but the public is super interested in real estate investing, flipping properties, cash flow properties. They've all read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. They all watch Property Flip and different shows like that. One of the best things that you can do, this made a world of a difference for my business, is to host local seminars. So what I did as a brand new agent for $0 is I posted on Facebook events, on meetup.com and on Eventbrite, a local Calgary real estate investing network meetup. And what I did every single month, I just had a one hour meetup for free where people could come to the office, they could come to a co-working space. If you're at eXp, you can use a Regis office. And what I did for an hour is I just talked about different investment opportunities, whether it be different places to buy cash flow properties, the best communities to buy flip properties, some of these side-by-side -side examples of before and after flips that my brokerage has done, not that I've done, but again, because I was the one hosting the event, I was the one that got the credibility for it. I gave credit to everybody that deserved it, but I was the point of contact that they had because I was there in person. So I strongly advise anybody can do this. You can get the data from investors in your brokerage. You can find the data online if you need to, but hosting a free real estate investing network meetup is going to be a game changer. I have on average closed five transactions per year for free by getting investors out of those meetups. And again, all you have to do is create a simple Facebook group or have a Facebook event, share it with people, say that it's free, 
and host it. That is going to be one of the biggest keys to differentiating yourself and finding a ton of clients for free. And the best part about investors is that they usually don't do it just once. They usually flip a property, invest in a new one, flip a property, invest in a new one, or buy multiple cash flow properties. So this is a massive game changer for you. Now let's talk about prospecting for a second. You're gonna wonder, well, Mike, why don't you have cold calling on here? Again, this is something where all of these strategies are free. Cold calling, when I was doing it, it required the Red X, it required a three line dialer, it required systems to pull the numbers. You had to pay for that. So we're gonna kick it off with door knocking. I know a lot of you don't like to hear it. I door knock for three hours a day for six months when I was a brand new agent. I hate to say it, but it works incredible. So if you're looking to get business and you're struggling and you don't have any deals, you have no excuse not to be putting the boots on the ground and hitting those doors. So door knocking is gonna be one of the best things that you can do if you wanna take action today and get business. Now, a couple other things here. I've got events and networking. Now, what am I talking about here? Number one, events. One of the most advantageous things you can do as a new agent is partner with a good lender, a good lawyer, and a good title company. Because what I did as a new agent is I started hosting client appreciation events, or as a new agent, I started hosting local community events, where it was just like barbecues with super cheap hot dogs and different things like that for the kids. But what I did see it is because we don't have title companies here, I got the lender and the lawyer to pay for my event. And I said, hey, any business that comes through here, I will use you guys. You do not need a dime to get business in real estate. Now, a couple things that are really cool right here in terms of networking, make sure that you check out meetup.com and eventbrite.com. What you'll see is I started attending a lot of the local entrepreneurial events. I started attending local real estate investing events, small business networking events, and any other local entrepreneur event, because here's what you need to understand. Local business owners, other entrepreneurs, and real estate investing networks are going to be the best place for you to get free clients. Entrepreneurs and business owners, again, are the most well-connected people in your city because they depend on it for the growth of their business. And then when you look at real estate investing network events, that's again, usually where a lot of investors go to learn about investing, but it's usually investors teaching people how to invest. And if you're a realtor and you go network with other people that want to invest in real estate, you're gonna have the ability to turn some of those into clients. So scavenge both of these websites, meetup.com and Eventbrite. Check out what local events are going on in your city. They have it in every city across North America. And this is gonna be a great way for you to find a ton of like-minded people that you can collaborate with. Now, let's go on to social media because again, these are free strategies, hence why you do not see any Facebook ads here because you have to pay for Facebook ads. So, couple different things here. Number one, Marketplace. Marketplace is an incredible place where again, Facebook's prioritizing it. If you haven't seen the new interface that it changed for 2020, you'll see that it put a priority of Marketplace at the top search bar. Now, what do you need to be doing on Marketplace? You want to make sure that you're taking, again, potential listings from your brokerage, as long as you get permission, and posting them on Facebook Marketplace. Now, I've got a separate video, which I'll link in the card above, about how to get free leads on Facebook Marketplace. But again, that's going to be one of the best places you can do it for free. And the next one is local Facebook groups. Now, why are local Facebook groups so powerful? They're so powerful because the engagement is incredible. So what I started doing as a new agent is I joined all of the local community groups in the areas that I wanted to farm. And what you'll see is that people are, again, asking for help, asking for babysitters, asking for lawnmowers, asking for roots roofers, but they also ask for realtors. And in my first deal, I did multiple deals, three deals from Facebook groups. And in my second year, I did seven deals from Facebook groups of just people tagging me in posts whenever somebody asks, does anybody know a reputable real estate agent? And a lot of my friends living in those communities would tag me in them, I would reach out. And then again, I started getting business from it. The one key thing you wanna make sure about Facebook groups is that again, if people do ask in those community groups, don't just comment your name, reach out to them, add them as a friend and send them a DM. There are so many times where people would ask, does anybody know a realtor? Everybody in the community would tag like a hundred realtors 
and nobody would reach out to the actual person. So I was the only one that would add them as a friend, reach out to them and say, hey, I specialize in this area, I've done da 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 da, and I'd love to meet up for coffee. And because I was the only one that actually messaged them, there's no way the people posting this are gonna go search through 70 different realtors and message all of them. I just made it easy for them. I sent the first message and I was the first point of contact. So local Facebook groups are gonna do absolute wonders for your engagement in your community. And if there isn't a local community group, create one yourself and own it, which is even more powerful. Now let's talk about Instagram, for example. Three different things here. Number one, popular locations. One of the best ways to become a client magnet is again, be where people are looking. So if there's a local cafe, a local restaurant, a local bar, local landmarks, anything like that, you want to make sure that you're taking photos there and hashtagging it, tagging the business and geotagging the location. And what's happened for me multiple times, because I've gotten business doing every single one of these strategies, multiple times people were searching for a local cafe here that's really popular, saw that I had a really good photo and a couple times the cafes have actually featured my photos on their feed and then again saw that I was an agent when they clicked on my profile, reached out to me, said they were interested and then I closed a couple deals from that. So it was really cool to see that just by leveraging popular locations, you're able to get in front of people that are going to be searching for those locations. The next thing, strategic collaborations. What you want to make sure that you're doing is again, aligning yourself with well-connected people who are gonna shout your name from the mountaintop. This is other entrepreneurs that are trying to build their business. So I align myself with local influencers that had good pull in the millennial demographic. And what happened is by taking photos with them, doing videos with them, posting it on my Instagram, I was tapping into their network because they would share it on their feed, they would share it on their profile and their stories, and that would drive their audience to me. Because when you collaborate with somebody, that's them basically saying, hey, I align with this person, I like what they're doing, you should check them out too. And they're gonna check you out, see that you're a realtor, and away you go. Now, value-driven content on Instagram. New agents can do this. New agents constantly say, well, Mike, I don't know anything about the business. I just got into the business. I just got my license. You know more than 99% of the public because you actually have a real estate license. You went through the process. You understand the process of buying. You understand the process of selling. You understand all of the different nuances of the market data. Make sure that you're just sharing buyer's tips, seller's tips, monthly market updates, community tours, community highlights. All of these strategies are free and anybody with any experience level understands them as well. Now, let's talk about YouTube and LinkedIn. YouTube for new agents is going to be one of the best things you can do. Now, I know a lot of people are very hesitant, they're a bit nervous, they're a bit introverted, they don't wanna put themselves on video, but if you can muster up the confidence to do this, it can be a game changer for your business. I've got a number of agents in my team here at eXp that are generating 80% plus of their business as new agents in new cities for free from YouTube using the list of videos that I share with them that are proven to attract clients in every single market. So I highly encourage anybody to muster up the confidence for YouTube. And again, you can see here, anybody for free can do a monthly market update. And one of the best things about a monthly market update is number one, it's insanely easy to rank for on YouTube. I've helped so many people from different markets rank number one whenever anybody searches their city real estate, Calgary real estate, very easily just by properly optimizing the tags, titles, descriptions. Now again, a couple other things that are proven to attract clients at scale. Number two, city and community tours. Doing a community tour of any community you wanna farm. Also, city tours, a Calgary city tour. Moving to Calgary, full Calgary city tour. Anybody can do these. Walk around your city, show a couple of the things that most people recognize or would want to know about. And this, again, has been a game changer for so many new agents that have actually taken the initiative to do it. And every single agent, I'm telling you, every single agent that's done this has gotten business from it that's implemented these strategies. So the only ones that haven't are the ones that haven't done it. And now the last one is city real estate tips. City and real estate tips. City tips, number one. City tips are things like moving to Denver, five things you need to know. Pros and cons to living in Denver. Cost of living in Denver. Cost of living in Calgary. Five things you didn't know about Calgary. Top five events in Calgary, different things like that. Anybody can do it and it always attracts clients. Now the last one on YouTube is real estate tips. Again, similar to Instagram, how to buy a house in Calgary 
how to sell a house in Calgary, how to find an investment property in Calgary, when is the best time to sell your home in Calgary, how to prepare your house to sell in Calgary. All of these things are things that you know and are able to generate clients for free. And we've got one more thing before I talk about something that's really important here, which is LinkedIn. So again, LinkedIn is really good for monthly market updates, but the difference with LinkedIn compared to the other ones is City News does really well on LinkedIn because it's shareable. So if there's any new things that are coming out in your city, whether it be new planned developments, anything related to politics, anything related to your city that could impact real estate, make sure you do a post about how that might impact the real estate market. And then again, looking at strategic business partners, this is gonna be one of the best things about LinkedIn is because it is more B2B, but it is a great way for you to connect with other professionals that are looking to scale your business. So it might not be the best for attracting clients, but it's a great way to connect and collaborate with other like-minded business individuals that are looking to scale their business, want to add to their database, and you can, again, align with different people from different industries and niches that could be good strategic partners, especially if it's somebody like a financial planner one of the things I did as a new agent is I met with a financial planner talked to them about what I was trying to do and build my database and then I just said hey when you're talking to people can you include on your initial conversation on the list of questions that you ask every single new person can you include because they need to know this as a financial planner are you looking to move within the next year are you looking to invest in real estate and that's what they did. And every time they got that, he would send me a call, connect me with the people. And then I got multiple deals from that as well. So align yourself with the right people on LinkedIn. Now, finally, what I want to say here, which is super important, is make sure that you have a plan. I know a lot of this can seem overwhelming. There is a lot here. I've been able to generate business from every single one of these strategies for free with zero dollars and you can too but you wanna make sure you find out which ones of these you really like and build out an executable plan. Are you gonna be posting once a day on Facebook? Are you gonna post twice a week on Facebook, twice a week on Instagram, once a week on YouTube, host one event a month, do one property tour or share one featured listing a week, and then you're gonna door knock for a couple hours a day. What are you going to do? You need to make sure you have a plan and you have to consistently execute on that plan. Now, one of the biggest things I can say give before asking a lot of new realtors just go for the ask right away they say do you know anybody looking to buy or sell give something give free value offer anything even if it's not related to real estate say hey i know we're in a really tough time right now just wanted to reach out to see if there's anything i can do for you because i know a lot of different people in the city have got a big network and if i don't know somebody i can find somebody who will know somebody to solve your problem it's going to be a great way for you to again open up dialogue and conversations and lead with value before going for the ask don't expect anything and do not give up guys all of these strategies have been proven to work to generate leads listings and buyers for free, zero dollars. And if you execute on them consistently and you don't give up, the same will happen for you. So hopefully this provided a couple different resources and ideas that might get, you know, the wheels spinning in your head to give you some inspiration to go out, take action and start getting some more deals. So again, guys, all that I can ask is a little thumbs up and drop a comment if you have any more ideas. Otherwise, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.